literally even bigger mountains. Mark, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. Uh, you know, as we're looking through, you know, some of the footage of you climbing these incredible mountains, it, I always wonder, did you find a competitive challenge there in this type of, of adventure after your football career? I mean, seven summits. How did you find mountaineering to be your post NFL passion? Well, that's a great question. You know, um, I think the first thing is I was going through a rough time. And I think at the end of the day, we all go through rough times. And um, I had to put together a massive goal that I knew was gonna absolutely pull me out. And that massive goal was to go climb the seven summits, which are the highest peaks around the world. So the highest peaks literally on each continent. And so off I went. And to answer your question about the competitive drive, you know, every mountain has its own uh, challenge to it. And especially I just got off Mount Everest and that's the pinnacle of achievement. And to have pulled this whole thing off, it took me actually nine years to complete seven mountains, is just amazing and incredible. And, it, and at the end of the day, it did heal me. Wow, I, mean, I can't even imagine climbing a flight of stairs, let alone Mount Everest, <laughs> Mark, that's incredible. Um, but yeah. I'm told here that you, you drew inspiration and, and sort of uh, motivation from other areas of your life as well. So how has being a father, and what inspiration did you draw from your daughters actually in this? Well, it's a great question. You know, my one of my, my my main goals has always been is to be the best I can be as a dad. And, um, you know, initially I got into this because I was just trying to, to, to heal um, in my own way. And once I kind of uh, found peace and everything else, uh, my daughter, meanwhile, my, uh, my younger daughter, uh, Amelia, had and has epilepsy. And so I wanted to um, put together a program uh, to see what I could do to help her. And so I aligned myself with some different um, uh, nonprofits and we created a, a campaign called Amelia's Everest. And so we've been out raising a bunch of money. I'm so grateful the, the, the Raiders threw in some money towards it. The NFL contributed toward the, this great cause. And here's the beauty. Um, my daughter is now 22. She goes to the University of Arizona and uh, she has been seizure free for the first time in, in eight months. So, you know, we're, we're, we're on a roll. We're hoping that it lasts, but I really feel like having her, bringing her into this journey that I've been on has, has given her empowerment to fly high and helped in some small way get over these seizures, which were daily. Wow, I mean, I'm so glad that she's doing well, but I love that there's so much support around you and your family and all of this. You mentioned that the Raiders have been very supportive as well. I mean, this is why we say mm -hmm. football is family in that sense. And speaking of that, you're one of your former teams, the Raiders. We see your jersey right behind you there. 3-0 yeah. and oh to start the season. Uh, what are you thinking of them so far? Well, look, I was uh, I was in Las Vegas a few months ago. The Raiders have been just extraordinary in terms of uh, their dedication to the alumni. And so they had, uh, uh, I think it's the second or third time I've been to a, a Raider reunion. And, you know, to go out to see that facility. And for those who have not been there, it's just amazing. You feel like you've gotten into a spaceship, you know, <laughs> and all the different bells and the whistles and the stadium, the way they roll the grass in, it, it's just extraordinary. And so... Um, it doesn't surprise me. Um, Mark Davis has got a clear vision of where he wants to go. He's brought the right people, the right coaches in. Um, and I think they're starting to really mature. And, you know, they're 3-0 and now, but it, it's very possible they're 1-2. and two. Uh, But that's just the difference uh, of, of winning and losing and finding that edge. And then you start to get some momentum and good things can happen. I mean, that's why they call it the Death Star over there. And I think that entire uh, mm. kind of vibe has really bled into the team this season. You see how well they started. Mark Pattison, thank you so much for coming on with us. Excited to see more on your story. You can catch it tonight on NFL 360, 8 p.m., right here, right after Total Access on NFL Network. Thank you so much.